Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, we hear how the soldiers kept an eye on the Germans. In the lead-up to the offensive, the British had to keep a constant watch on the German lines. Sergeant Alex Patterson enlisted in the Rifle Brigade on the 8th of September 1914, arriving in France in 1915. He was wounded in the later stages of the Somme Offensive and honourably discharged from the Army in early 1917. He was awarded both the Military Medal and the Distinguished Conduct Medal for gallantry in action. He recalled being sent out to gather intelligence. The grass was just like hay, so anything that was dark or anything that was too light, or was coloured, would show up. We had to wear as little equipment as possible. No belts or buckles, or anything that was likely to glitter in the sunshine. We had to really think about camouflage. We had to brown our hands and faces, and with my black hair, I had to wear a khaki handkerchief over my head with knots at the corners to keep it on. And because the weather was so hot and our faces would be wet with perspiration, and even that could glisten in the sunlight. We covered our faces with grass seed. We crawled on our tummies, and we didn't keep to a straight line, as we might have furrowed the grass as we went through, and that would have certainly been seen by troops using periscopes on the other side. So we had to move to the left, and then to the right on our bellies, and, as we got near to their line, we had to keep very close so we could whisper to each other and discuss the things we saw. We even had brown paper instead of white to write our notes on, just a four-inch square which we put in our pockets, and then, if there was a bit of a shell hole, we would get into it and very cautiously make a sketch or two. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, an officer makes plans for life after the war.